Hey guys, welcome to the Rack Grind channel. Thank you so much today. I just wanted to get on the get on the broadcast just um, quickly to give you guys an update. You know, earlier today there was, um, if you haven't heard, um, Bitfinex went down because it was um, it was subjected to some DDoS attacks, right? So there was uh, they announced on their Twitter that says Bitfinex is currently under extreme load. We are investigating the issue and we will keep you all up to date as we learn more, right? So <clears throat> it was reported on bit um, on crypto vest today that it undergoed um, unexpected maintenance right and the nature of the attack was unclear but they they've been able to provide an update on it and they said the cause of the outage has been identified as a ddos attack and was launched soon after we restarted operations the previous outage was caused by issues with one of the um, infrastructure providers <coughs> So there was already a crash, and then as soon as they got back in, they were attacked with a DDoS. If you don't know what a DDoS is, is denial of um, denial of service attack, right? So basically, they start pinging the servers like millions of other computers or servers, more powerful or much um, steadier connection, faster connection than whatever Bitfinex is using, and that causes an overload on their system, so it causes it to crash or become inacc inaccessible, right? Um, while the server platform was recovering, the attack caused extreme load on the servers, right? So uh, this this was a frightening thing, right? I mean, they really reported here the reason a Bitfinex, Bitfinex crash is frightening um, because previously they lost about, in 2016, about 100... Uh, 120,000 bitcoins and you know they, they later performed a haircut on all traders right you know all the wallets that they were holding right um the other cause of concern is that tether usdt that is primarily trading um on bitfinex for months now there's been fears and concern that bitfinex could you know could close and if it closes then basically tether would have no value right so just keep in mind that you know right now binance excuse me, being the biggest exchange is holding the vast majority of USDTs in their wallets, right? So that is something that we need to be able to look out for um, and see how this all pans out. I mean, anytime I hear news about Bitfinex, you know, I'm always scared because, you know, we all know what happened to Mt. Gox and, you know, like Tether, you know, every month or so, I keep getting these alerts and news that they keep printing more um, US Tether, USDT, right? So I'm always weary whenever I hear news or I can't access Bitfinex. And that was this morning. So, I mean, I'm not trading right now on Bitfinex. I'm basically more using Bittrex and as well as um, Binance. But, you know, I just always want to be able to see what's happening because, of course, if there's a major, major crypto exchange like that, that, you know, creates a lot of problems then potentially it could affect the overall market in general as we are just starting to recover, you know, signs of recovery, minor pullbacks and recovers the next day or the next couple of days. We can't have a black swan event to just completely destroy the recovery that we would um, we could have been, you know, going towards and mess everything up for us. So I just want to be able to get that news to you guys in case you were wondering, or if maybe you didn't even know if, you know, what happened to Bitfinex, that's what happened. And that's the clarification that they had provided, you know, which was the cause of that particular crash, all right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video about that. I already did my market updates and some news that I want to be able to do. And I'm just wanted to um, share this news with you guys in, in, because it was a question in my mind. And I'm sure a lot of you may be wondering also. All right. Well, thank you again for your time today. I wish you and your family a successful day. Until I see you guys on the next video, have a good night and I love you guys. Bye.